Yo, what is up, guys? It's Pedro here. Today, we got some terrible news. Redskins promising wide receiver Kelvin Harmon tore his ACL while training prior to camp. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into this. So this is absolutely terrible news, guys. Uh, Redskins wide receiver Kelvin Harmon tore his ACL while training prior to camp. Sources say the promising former six-rounder who had 30 catches for 365 yards last season as a rookie, now has his eyes on 2021. This is, guys, this is so, so bad. This is terrible, terrible news. You guys all know how promising Kelvin Harmon is, and he was looking for a huge breakout year, and him and Haskins were working out together so much, and it just sucks. A torn ACL, it's like, he can come back stronger from it, but it's just a terrible injury because it's just a super, super unlucky injury. And it just, it's going to, he's going to be out for the whole season and he's not going to be able to play until 2021. This absolutely sucks. And he really hasn't had a really bad injury history before. And I, this, this is just terrible news. And I think, I don't know, man, this just, this just means AGG is going to, is probably going to start. And the most importantly, the most important thing is we're probably going to be signing signing another veteran wide receiver. Probably could be Josh Gordon, Demarius Thomas, Chris Hogan, someone like that. It, this is just terrible news. But I do think Antonio Gandy Golden, if he does well in training camp, I think he could end up being the starter unless we do sign someone like Josh Gordon. But guys, this is absolutely terrible news. He just, we had a lot of high expectations for him last year. He played pretty good last year and he had about 360 yards, like he said. But the majority of his yards were at, at the end of the season with Dwayne Haskins as his quarterback. So it's really, really upsetting. 365 yards, but like I said, majority of that was at the end of the season. So it sucks that he's out. Some other. Wide receivers that I think we could sign, like I said, Chris Hogan, who played with the Panthers last year. Josh Gordon, though, is the most prominent one that I think we could potentially take a look at. And even if Cody Latimer is available, if he his off-the-field issues clear up, I still do think we will sign someone. But this absolutely sucks. Emmanuel Hall, uh, Torres Achilles, and now Kelvin Harmon. The injury bug just keeps hitting us. And this is absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible news. And who knows, maybe this brings up an opportunity for Cam Sims or someone else to make the roster. Man, Kelvin Harmon, I was looking for big things from him this year. At least 500 uh, yards, maybe even more if he was a starter for the whole year. But man, now it's up to AGG, in my opinion. We'll see, though. If, like I said earlier, if we sign someone in free agency like Josh Gordon, then I think he would probably uh, start over AGG. But if we sign someone like Chris Hogan, then AGG potentially could start over uh, Chris Hogan. But if you look at Josh Gordon's stats, he was an absolute beast in 2013, 1600, uh, 1600 yards. And yes, this was a long time ago, but... He was working with Scott Turner, who was his wide receiver coach in Cleveland. So that's encouraging because, of course, Scott Turner is our offensive coordinator right now. But I think he would be the best option. And he's not too far removed from a 720-yard season in 2018. And he only played in 12 games that year. So if he would have played in 16, probably could have gotten 1,000 yards. So he's not too far removed from that. And I think he would be a solid addition to the team and could be an upgrade over Kelvin Harmon, at least for this year. Obviously, in the future, Kelvin Harmon has really good potential, but I think Josh Gordon could come in here, and if he starts, could get 700-plus yards. And if he's off the, coming off the bench uh, as a rotational wide receiver, I think he could get 400, 500 re uh, receiving yards. But, my guys, this, this absolutely is terrible news. Let me know what you guys think about this. What does this mean for our wide receiving core? What do you guys think? This means for AGG and the other young wide receivers. And do you think we will end up signing a veteran wide receiver? Man, this guy's the injury bug hits us again. We already, like I said, uh, Alex Smith is going to be on IR. That's obvious. But Emmanuel Hall towards Achilles and now Kelvin Harmon. This sucks, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more Redskins content because there's going to be a lot of it. Yeah.
And this could have been the bad news, guys, that we were taught that JP Finley was talking about. Peace.